What does it mean to be bored? Boredom is that feeling of restlessness, of wanting to do something but not knowing what to do, or perhaps feeling disinterested or dissatisfied with whatever one is currently doing or what is currently available. Feeling that the situation is dull and unexciting or monotonous or tedious. Often the feeling of boredom comes with a longing to be someplace else or doing something else. There might be some sense of impatience with the current situation, feeling as if time has slowed down to a snail's pace. Along with boredom, you might feel restless, agitated, irritated, frustrated. But why do we get bored? It's easy to think that it's just the situation which is causing our boredom, but Something I've learned in life is that situations are not the cause of our emotional state. Rather, it's how we respond to the situation. It's our own thoughts and beliefs about the situation, our interpretation, our judgments, and so on. And it also has to do with how we approach it, whether we approach it with acceptance or with resistance. Much of our time is spent being entertained or seeking to be entertained. We spend a great deal of time staring into our phones, scrolling through social media, watching hours of television or going out to bars and clubs, getting drunk or taking drugs, chasing after some kind of pleasurable experience or excitement. We're constantly having our attention pulled in so many directions. Some would say that we are overstimulated. That is, our senses are often bombarded with incoming information sights and sounds, scents and sensations, all coming from every direction, all coming at once and keeping us very busy, keeping our attention engaged, keeping us stimulated. And we've gotten so accustomed to this, to always staying very busy or running around from one place to the next, engaging in various forms of activity and entertainment. And perhaps we're so accustomed to it that it feels strange and unsettling in those moments in between when there is nothing to stimulate our senses, nothing to engage our attention, nothing to distract us. And I wonder how much of our seeking to be constantly entertained, constantly stimulated, is really a seeking to be distracted. It might be that boredom is, in some sense, a feeling of desperation to be distracted. But distracted from what? Have you ever tried to just sit with that feeling? To just be alone with it, with nothing to do, nothing to distract you? Most people can't stand being alone or just sitting still with nothing to occupy our attention. It's extremely uncomfortable. We become restless and antsy for something to do, something to occupy the mind, something to take our attention away from the moment, away from ourselves. We're always trying to get away from ourselves, to escape into some sort of distraction. But why do we want so desperately to be distracted? What is it that we cannot stand about being alone with ourselves? What is it that we can't stand about stillness and silence? What most of us seek distraction from is some kind of uncomfortable, unsettling feeling. And what is that unsettling feeling that we experience when there's nothing to distract us? Is it our own despair and dissatisfaction, our own unhappiness? or some sense of fear or lack or inadequacy. Whatever it happens to be, we carry these feelings with us all throughout our life, everywhere we go, but much of the time we find ways to distract ourselves from it through all kinds of entertainment and activity. And during those moments we're able to briefly forget our attention is pulled away into something else. But eventually we return to it. We always return to it. There seems to be nothing which can distract us forever. Whatever entertainment or activities we engage in, they only last so long. And sometimes if we engage in something constantly, it simply loses its luster. It ceases to excite us. It becomes too commonplace, too ordinary. So even an activity which we once found exciting can itself become boring, and so we seek after the next thing. 
But in those moments in between when there is nothing to do and nowhere to go, nothing to distract us from ourselves, it's very difficult to avoid these feelings. We want to avoid them. We're desperate to avoid them. But in that moment, we can't. And this anxiousness, this restlessness, this desperation to escape from our own unsettling feelings, perhaps this is what boredom really is. So in these moments where there is nothing to distract us, where there is nothing to mask these feelings, why not embrace that moment? Why not just sit with that discomfort and observe it, examine it, explore it, find out what it's all about? Why not determine to understand it and to resolve it? It's never going to go away if you just ignore it, if you just try to bury it under various pleasures and distractions. It will still be there waiting for you. You can keep looking for distractions and you can keep yourself busy with all kinds of activities, but eventually you come back to it. When the distraction is over, you have to face it once again. So instead of running away, constantly trying to escape it, why not just face it and embrace it? Why not look directly at it and deeply into it? Why not seek to understand it? Boredom means that you're resisting the moment, resisting the stillness, resisting the silence, resisting discomfort. You're resisting being alone with nothing to distract you, which means you're resisting your own self, your own thoughts and feelings. You're trying to escape from yourself. But if there is one thing that you can never escape, it's yourself. So why not surrender? If there is something there in you that's uncomfortable and unsettling, if there is some fear or despair or whatever it happens to be, distractions only provide some temporary relief. So why not seek to resolve it entirely? But you won't resolve it if you continue to resist it, if you refuse to look at it, to look into it. You resolve it by coming to fully understand it, by bringing awareness to it, by going to the very root of it. So what is it that you're avoiding in yourself? And can you find the courage to face it? Can you find the willingness to sit with it, to be present with it, to be present with that discomfort when there is nothing to distract you? Boredom is sometimes defined as simply a feeling of restlessness. At least that seems to be a common attribute of boredom, that we feel restless. And what I find interesting about the feeling of restlessness is that what do we do when we feel restless? We look for something to do or somewhere to go. We seek out some kind of activity. We try to find something to keep ourselves busy. But the word restlessness means what? To be without rest. So what if what is really needed in that moment is to rest? What if we've been going about it all wrong? What if instead of trying to find some activity to engage in, we just surrender to the stillness, relaxing into it and simply allowing ourselves to rest? Instead of looking for something to draw your attention away from the moment, can you allow your attention to be absorbed in it? Can you instead become interested in this moment, to be curious, to be inquisitive, to be open to what it might offer you? Even if there seems to be nothing going on, can you come to appreciate the simplicity of this moment, the stillness, the silence, the tranquility, the peacefulness of it? These moments where there is nothing to distract us are perfect for practicing presence or mindfulness or whatever you might choose to call it, to relax into the moment and to be present with what is, with whatever is occurring right here in this moment, to allow the attention to observe whatever is taking place in this moment without resistance, without interpretation. And this includes whatever is taking place within you as well. Can you become curious and interested in your own psychological mechanisms? When that feeling of boredom arises and you feel antsy for some kind of activity, why not occupy yourself with the activity of introspection? Ask yourself, what is this feeling of boredom? Where is it arising from? What is behind it? 
or we might ask ourselves, why am I resisting this moment? What specifically about this moment am I resisting? Is it the stillness? Is it the silence? Or is it the noise of my own mind which fills that silence? Is it this moment that I'm resisting? Or am I resisting my own feelings, my own thoughts, my own mental chatter? Because if for a moment we can give our attention just to the stillness and silence of the moment, if we can shift our attention from thinking to simply perceiving, observing, listening, to being fully present in the here and now, we might find it quite soothing, peaceful, beautiful. We might find that there is nothing missing in this moment, nothing that needs to be added. We might find the seeming emptiness of this moment to be deeply fulfilling. If we can begin to notice our resistance to this moment and to allow ourselves to relax into it, to breathe deeply into it and just allow the moment to be as it is, we might notice that resistance diminishing. We might notice that resistance becoming gradually replaced with a deep appreciation. And we might experience for the very first time the beauty of stillness, the tranquility of silence, how profoundly rich and refreshing it is when we simply allow it and give it our full attention. We may discover that there's actually quite a lot going on in the moment that we simply hadn't noticed, that we weren't aware of because we were so caught up in the mind. We may find ourselves entertained simply by whatever is already taking place in this moment, simply by giving it our full attention and appreciation. We seem to think that the cure for boredom is to find something to do, something to distract us, something to entertain us, something to occupy the mind. But actually it's the craving for these things that causes our boredom. So perhaps the real cure is to let go of that desire, to be unattached to it, and to allow yourself to rest in this moment, to cease trying to escape, and instead to embrace the situation in which you find yourself, to fully embrace it, to be present with it, to drop all of that resistance and just allow the moment to be as it is. If you find value in this content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.